to hunt. Hey, Bill. All wheat sent under. I didn't get all the time to look at all the unders. A nickel. We have a penny and nickel hunt. We'll start off with the bills. We got a star note. 2017 A series. And yeah, let's get on to the wheat sent under. We'll open it live. We got the wheat sent under. That's not it. Right there, you see the four. It's a little blurry, but there is a four. Got some goodies. Looks like an interesting roll, but we sent and wait. Oh, I opened it on the wrong side. That's okay though. Wait, sent one cent. Forty forty eight Philadelphia. Since I have you guys here, let's look through the rest of this roll. Double weedy roll. No way. Thirty-eight. That's an oldie. Maybe this one. I'm not seeing anything else. Let's continue the hunt. All right, guys, we got wheat scent. Don't look at the date yet. Fifty-six, Philadelphia. And we got our first Canadian, nineteen eighty-three. And all these weeds in one row, you are in luck. Let's see the first one. Oh. Can't really see it great, but it is a 58 Denver. All right, take that. This one looks like a 56 Denver. This one is a. Just 56. Fifty three Denver. Fifty three. Wait. Yeah, just wait. Fifty three Philadelphia. Yeah, nineteen forty seven. That is a great roll. As next one is nineteen forty Philadelphia. As we had another wheat set. Nineteen fifty sixty. All right, another wheat set. Right here. My God, this won't focus. So I'll read. It's in 1946. I wanted to show you guys this because it was cool. The flying vehicle sent the new one, 1967, 1867. It's the 1967 now. It'd be nice if it was the 1867, but that's probably really hard to find and I probably won't find it. I saw both of the dates. I found my first ever blazer. 1952. Pretty nice, 1955. It's not a Canadian. It's a pig scent. Got a wheat scent. 53 Denver. We got 1948 Philadelphia. All right, I'm showing this. We have a young head. Pretty nice condition. Has a very, very little bit of luster on like the edge right there. But yeah, it's in pretty nice condition. Last penny roll lock. Well, we have. Um, we're gonna open this one live. Oh, 
have an interesting one right here. Just normal. It up for the pennies. We got two thousand two one two two thousand nines. A lot of wheat cents. Oh, couple of foreigns. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the nickels. Another interesting foreign. Twenty fourteen. Harissetti. What? I don't know what this is from. But it's cool. Got nineteen forty. P. We got second 1940, Philadelphia again. Look at the condition on this 1956. This is kind of, it does have full steps. No, it doesn't, but it's really nice. It came up like that. It's 1949. Philadelphia. Not even a find. Stupid penny. Maybe it would be a good penny. Maybe it means we'll get the 1950. Maybe the Denver. At nine. Oh, I don't know. It's an older look. It has a Denver mint mark. 1946. The Curse of the Pennies. And then, 1981, 1998. We got one copy of them. Almost got a nickel roll short. We have another copper penny, but it's a penny. The date, 1947, Philadelphia. We did find a 1955 in this roll, but we got a 1949, Denver. Let's go, guys. We got a buffalo nickel. Looks pretty nice condition. It looks very rough though. It's kind of a mid condition. No mint mark. I'm gonna try to get a date off of this. So guys, this is actually my oldest buffalo in my collection. It's a 1919, if you guys can see right there. And yeah, that is some last roll hunt luck. This is a pretty good shaped detail. Um, buffalo nickel, pretty circulated though. No mint mark. Nineteen thirty-five. Let's go. That one old wrapper. Flows four pennies, one dime. A few nineteen fifty-sixes. Nineteen forty six and nineteen forty. Don't forget about that star note. Alright, I have to roll up all these coins and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.